Hi there and thanks for joining us for this Me vs Math tutorial, uh, the latest in our series on brackets and this is actually our second tutorial on expanding single brackets and here we'll look at questions where we need to expand two or more single brackets and then simplify our answers. You will need again to know these rules well for multiplying with positive and negative numbers. If you're not familiar with these then please brush up on them first before watching any further. OK, in our first example here, we're being asked to expand and to simplify the following expression with brackets in. We almost have three mini questions to answer here, two expanding brackets and then one bit of simplifying at the end. The first part we want to work on is 3 in brackets c plus 4. 3 times c is just 3c. And 3 times 4 is 12 or plus 12. Next we'll look at the 5d plus 2 part. 5 times d is 5d and 5 times 2 is 10 or positive 10 so plus 10. Now we can simplify this expanded expression. The c's and the d's cannot be collected together so we keep 3c plus 5d. However what we have left are just numbers so we can simplify this part. 12 plus 10 is obviously 22, so we can put plus 22 on the end. We've expanded the brackets and simplified the result as much as we can. Our next example, and here we notice a negative sign in our second bracket, so we'll need to be just a little bit wary. The first bracket to expand though is simple enough. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 3 is 15 or plus 15. Our second bracket then, 6 times x is 6x, which is positive, so plus 6x. And finally, positive 6 times negative 4 is minus 24. So we've expanded our brackets and now we have an expression that we can simplify. I'll show you the result first, which is this, and let's see how we got this simplified expression. We had 5x add 6x, which made 11x. And we also had plus 15 minus 24, which gave us minus 9. Why? Well, if we start 15 above 0 and go down 24, we will get to minus 9. Our last example, and this is tricky as we have a lot of negative signs around, so let's take this one on very carefully. The 4 is positive and the y is positive, so the first part is OK. 4y. Next, the 4 outside the bracket is positive, but the 4 inside the bracket is negative, as it has a minus sign in front of it. So positive 4 times negative 4 will give us negative 16. The second bracket, I handle these by looking at the number outside and deciding is it positive or negative. The 3 is negative, as it has a minus sign in front of it. So negative 3 times positive y equals minus 3y. Lastly for our expansion, negative 3 times negative 2 will give positive 6 or plus 6. Now we're ready to simplify and this will actually simplify to y minus 10. Again, let's see why. This time there is more than one set of terms that we can simplify. We have y's here and here. 4y minus 3y leaves 1y or just y. We also have standard everyday numbers here and here, which again can obviously be tidied up. Minus 16 plus 6. If we're 16 below 0 and we go up 6, we will get to minus 10. Just three questions then, but we've actually covered quite a lot in this in the previous tutorial, so make sure you get some practice in. There are resources available on the website at meversusmaths.com that can help you with just that, so please do check those out. There's a lot more to expanding brackets, particularly when we start to look at double brackets, but just be aware this may not be appropriate to you depending on which course you're following. If you're not sure, then please ask your teacher or lecturer and they'll let you know. Thanks for watching and as I say I'm moving on to double brackets now and if you are too then I'll see you there. But either way enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.